Well, as you know, I am a big STEM advocate. I'm so happy when I see uh, Bay Area schools focusing and highlighting education in science, tech, engineering, and math. And uh, one Bay Area school just won a big STEM award. We have with us one of the teachers, Azine, from Doherty Valley High School, and one of the students, Neha. Thank you so much for being with us this morning. Thank, Thank you. For you. Well, Azine, let's talk about, first of all, your passion for STEM education. Sure, yeah, I'd love to. Um, about three or four years ago, I discovered, uh, in fact, virtual reality in a little cafe, and it just blew my mind. I knew right away that this was gonna impact education, and I wanted to bring it to my students. So that was the inspiration. <laughs> that is awesome. And what have you noticed with your students when, they're, uh, when you get to tell them about all of this, computer science, virtual reality, and when they get to see it for the first time? Well, every time a student tries new innovative tech, it feels like a light bulb goes off. And to me, that's the be best inspiration, is just seeing my students light up. And in fact, because this is the, the future, you know, the future of our jobs is going to be technology, so I really feel inclined to give them things that are relevant to their lives. That's so awesome. So let's talk about this major national STEM award that you won. Sure. So about a, a year ago, I was um, told about Samsung Solve for Tomorrow, and I just immediately brought it to my students. We started this club called XREDU Club, which is Immersive Technology for Social Good and Education. So all my students were excited, and they wanted to build a solution for social good. And last year, we were a finalist, but then this year, we won the prize because I think all our experience. Yay. Thank you. <laughs> That's so awesome. I love hearing that. Yeah. <laughs> so after that, I just knew that this is a path that we wanted to take. Um, and they've just been so committed, and so have I. So we've all just sort of fed off of each other with this experience, and we're just so excited that we won. Congratulations. Just, so happy to hear that. And Neha is one of your special students who loves STEM. Can you talk about Neha and all of your students? Sure. Um, so I teach two computer science courses, and she was with me in my introductory class, and now she's gone on to the advanced one, and I, she's so talented. She has a lot of design and art skills and technology, which, again, is gonna be so great for her future. Um, I'm really impressed by her because not only is she committed to doing all these outside activities and putting in extra hours, but she just, it comes from a place of true passion for the subject. Um, and I know she's going to do great in her future. Oh, so. that is awesome. <laughs> and Neha, let's talk about mm -hmm. your award-winning project and what inspired you for this. So we wanted to tackle a large issue in our community, and that was the increasing amount of wildfires. And we've been seeing this trend over the past couple of years, uh, not just in California, but also Australia now, where wildfires have become such a large issue, and it's not really being tackled at its source. We see like a lot of efforts to quell it after it begins. But what uh, our school wanted to do was really stop it at its source by creating a sort of sensor that can take factors like temperature, humidity, wind speed, and all these other factors that affect if a fire is gonna start and track it and send the location to the fire department at its source so we can see if a fire is starting and if it does, we can tell them immediately. That is incredible, and especially here in Northern California, mm -hmm. you know, every fire season, we see these destructive and devastating exactly. wildfires. And for you just to kind of see that, how is it living here in the Bay Area? For us personally, uh in living in the Bay Area, we've even had school canceled once because of the air quality, and it's just like a hazard to our health, our community in general, and so it, it hits very like close to home. Mm -hmm. And as a true engineer, already thinking of solutions, <laughs> I love that. All right, and um, Azine, let's mm -hmm. talk about you know winning this big project, this STEM mm -hmm. contest, and what what will be used for at your school. Sure, um, that's the most exciting part, is that now all of a sudden, I mean, as an educator, we're always scrounging to get money to build labs for our students and give them those opportunities, and often our hands are tied. And so it's so exciting that I, now I have this sum of money and I can actually put it to good use 
And I feel like I'm one of those educators who will do that. So uh, I believe when we get the 15 grand, we will have a plethora of choices to basically pick and choose technology from Samsung um, and be able to build it for the needs of our department and our school. So it could be anywhere from a 3D printer to virtual reality devices to phones to build on. So we get the gamut, and we're just in the process of figuring out what's the best use of it. And I think for, for a teacher, sometimes it's hard to, to get those funds. And mm -hmm. so are you just so happy just to hear yes. about this money and yeah. how, how, what it will be used for? Yeah, I mean, I was a little bit in shock. I didn't know, <laughs> oh, we actually won, you know. So, I mean, I think that just goes to show you that perseverance, and we've done this as our second year, and don't give up. That's mm -hmm. the biggest lesson. And my students have been along for the ride too. And so they learned that lesson with me. And so. how proud are you of your students? I'm, I'm so proud. <laughs> <laughs> I just, uh, I mean, we even took it, we took this, we presented at a local hackathon and, you know, f to climate change experts wow. and industry professionals and developers. And they presented their findings and research, and they were asking a ton of questions because they knew it's such a good solution. That is amazing. <laughs> yeah. So proud of you. And we were also talking about um, just being passionate about getting girls and minorities in, in STEM as well. I know that's a, a big uh, importance and passion for you. Yes, definitely. Um, as a female myself in STEM, I felt like, you know, be a role model first. Mm -hmm. And so when I started getting into the tech field, I knew that I wanted to bring along minorities and people of color and women especially, because right now the tech industry is only about 20% female. And that is also echoed in my computer science classes. So mm -hmm. it's like you have to start at the root yeah. in schools, encouraging women, females, because we need a diversity of thoughts in order to build products that are reflective of our culture and our society, not just a subgroup. Yes, yes, and yes, <laughs> we definitely need that. And Neha, uh, have you thought about what you might want to do in your future career? Yeah, so I was thinking of just anything that relates technology and art together because those are my two like huge passions. Yeah. So maybe something in virtual reality development or game development is definitely what I'm thinking about. Very cool. I love it. Thank you so much Thank for you. coming Thank by you. this morning. Loved, loved talking to you and congrats on the big award. Thank, Thank you. you. Thank you so much for having us. <laughs>